Hey guys, how's it going? Luis Sanchez here. And you know, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, <sighs> reaching people in your sphere of influence. Today, you know, I'm starting a new job, praise the Lord, and I've already more or less intersected, you know, with people that have been walking by the job site. And, um, you know, I could keep the machines running and stuff, but I know that um, where I'm at, God wants to use me. You know, I want to change lives. I want to make disciples. I want to uh, uh, get out of the box. Um, you know, advance the kingdom of God. And so, a lot of times God puts things in our hearts and He shows us through Scripture, he, you know, as far as uh, doing the works of Jesus, following Jesus. And Jesus had to uh, get out of the box. He, he couldn't be the, the average. He couldn't be the average Joe, the status quo, um, you know, and same with us. And so as people go by, I intentionally turn off my equipment just to, you know what? Just to say hi, how you doing? Uh, my name's Lewis, nice to meet you. And, you know, just love on them. But through loving on them and through starting conversation, waving, saying hi, I know good things are gonna happen. I know mighty things are gonna happen because I'm working with God. I'm here at work and you know, I'm making a living, but I'm also here with Jesus and I'm working with Jesus. You know, the work of Jesus is not done and he needs our help as far as advancing the kingdom of God and making disciples, bringing people into the kingdom. And how are we gonna do that? On Sundays, are we gonna do that by meeting the same people day, you know, Sunday after Sunday in the same building, you know, sing, singing the same songs? That's cool and everything, but that's not, that's not reaching the world. That's being in a safe place. And so, uh, you know, I just wanna encourage you. If you're hungry for more, I wanna encourage you. If you want to walk like Jesus walked, um, break the box, get out of the box, start hanging around with people that are, are, that are like-minded. You know, um, if we're still doing the same things uh, week after week, day after day, and then we expect something different to happen, it's not gonna happen. We, we gotta get out of the norm. You gotta go against the grain. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you're gonna feel alone. A lot of times I feel like I'm alone, but I'm not. I'm pioneering with Jesus. I'm using my business, um, you know, as a place of ministry. Breaking down all walls of tradition. Breaking down walls of mindset. And you know what? You can do the same. Reach people in your sphere of influence. You could be at home working on the computer. Um, you know, work work Jesus however he wants to use you. Don't try to be like me. Be like you. You're special. You're unique. And you know what? Um, God has a plan for your life. So just walk that out with him. He's, he's in you right now. All power, all authority in heaven is in you. And so I just want to encourage somebody out there. You know, to see um, the kingdom of God advance, to see the miraculous. It's not going to be done doing the same old, same old, same old stuff. Okay? Um, to walk in the supernatural, to live a supernatural life um, becomes a lifestyle because it's Jesus. It's Jesus in, in you. It's Jesus all around you, everywhere you go. You release the kingdom of God. It becomes a lifestyle and you don't have to make things happen. They just do happen because you're walking with God. You're walking with him and you're being natural. And you know what we need more than ever today in our churches is the power of God. We hear the gospel, but we're not seeing it demonstrated like the book of Acts. We're living a safe gospel, folks. We're living a life without persecution. Is that the gospel? I get persecuted all the time. Come out of your safe place. Come out of those four walls. Come out of her, God is saying today. I'm telling you, I'm just, I'm so fired up. I'm fired up. You know, the last month or so, I've been through hell. i am be honest with you. I've been going through hell, just being attacked. And you know, anytime you advance the kingdom of God, you're gonna be attacked. I'm telling you, I've worked it all out. And I'm so happy because I've just, I've got this fresh, this fresh, it's not a fresh anointing, but I've got this freshness in me. I can't explain it. 
And you know, go to God. You're not gonna get your answers from a, 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 a pair of britches. You're not gonna get your answers from a, 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 a someone wearing a skirt. Go to God for answers. A lot of time we're trying to solve things in our life. We're trying to get answers and we're going to people and that's good. We should go to people, you know, that we trust and stuff. But still, even those people, they don't, they're not gonna understand you. They're not gonna understand you like Jesus. He made you, he designed you, he created you. Go to him, go to him. You know what, and that has just brought me so much freedom. I'm telling you guys, man, I'm just so free right now. How deep does this rabbit hole go? How deep does it go, you know? How many breakings do we go through? It's just like, wow, 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 I'm excited. But I just wanna encourage somebody out there. Stop doing the same stuff. I'm sharing this with love, with compassion, with my heart. I'm just speaking my heart right now. I love you guys, okay? I love you. I'm telling you. If you want to walk like Jesus, okay, if you want to see awesome things happen in your life, you know, making disciples, baptizing people, uh, praying for people to receive the Holy Ghost, come on, that, that's the book of Acts. Is, is that happening in your life right now? Yes, we're under grace. Yes, God loves us. Yes, we're sons. And then what? Now what? We know all of that. But let's move on. I'm telling you, God has so much for you. Take the first steps and he's going to meet you. And be open, folks. Be open for new things. You know, the children of Israel, when they were coming out of Egypt into something new, they were a hunger. They, they were hungry. And when God made manna, they woke up in the morning and they found manna, you know, on the, on the ground. They were afraid of it. They were afraid of something that was going to sustain them. They were afraid of something new that was going to keep them. Don't be afraid. Trust Jesus. Get an intimate relationship with Jesus. Yes, you're going to go up and yes, you're going to go down. You know, to get to the, the mountain, you got to go through the valleys. And that's where God is going to teach you. That's where God is going to show you. He's going to be so big in your life. You know what? Sometimes he's got to show us when we're in the valleys. He's got to remind us how big he is. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how I got off on that, but let it be what it is. I encourage you. I love you. Follow Jesus. Get out of the norm. Get out of the box. Stop following the crowd. Start following your passions, your dreams, your desires. That's where you're going to find God. Oh, every day I have a sandbox. Every day God gives me a new passion, a new dream, and I get to do that with Him. Praise God. Get out of the life of structure and get free. Get free, get free in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. God bless you and have a great day and a great weekend. Love you guys.